Hello, this is Dan from Home Cycles. This video explains servicing and properly torquing the rear wheel on a Bionics D500 142 axle. First, we're going to power down the system and then remove the battery. Next, use side cutters to remove the zip ties. Next, unplug the communication cable by pulling the sleeve back. And then, with a slight twist, we're going to separate the power cable. Remember to make sure you're in the highest gear as well as the clutch is off the derailleur. Next, we're going to use a 6mm Allen wrench to loosen the axle bolts. Do this for both sides. Remove the axle bolts from both sides and let the wheel come out of the drop -offs. As always, if you're doing a flat repair, please inspect the tire and rim for any damage. Ensure that the insert on the drive side is installed correctly with the flange facing towards the hub. When reinstalling the rear wheel, ensure that the axle notch is facing at the 6 o'clock position and the torque reaction collar bottom lines up with the axle notch like so. When reinstalling the axle bolts, make sure to use blue Loctite. When reinstalling the wheel, ensure that the bottom of the torque reaction collar is lining up with the bottom of the dropout. Slide into position and reinstall the bolts. Non drive side gets torqued to 35 Newton meters. And drive side is torqued to 15 Newton meters. This can be found on the side of the frame as well as online. Hooking the motor back up, we're going to start with the communication cable, line up the little white arrow with the white arrow on the other side, and just insert like so, and then the power cable. Ensure that the power cable is properly connected. If not, it may become loose while riding. Now it's secure. Here's the example of a fully seated power connector. This is an example of an unseated power connector. Reinstall the zip ties. Ensure that the cables are not touching the rotor and you're good to go.